Hey guys, it's me, Boss Wave, and today I'm going to be showing you guys 15 Minecraft mods for Java 1.19.2 and below. These mods I picked are all vanilla friendly, meaning that they don't actually change too much from the base game and don't actually add any new blocks or items. All these mods that are mentioned are built with the fabric loader in mind, but some of them can also have their own Forge versions. So as always, links to the Curse Forge download pages will be in the video description. Now let's get into it. First mod we have on the list is called ED Animation. This is available for fabric and forge. And basically it just adds a little eating animation. So whenever you are eating food in Minecraft or drinkable items in Minecraft, you get a little eating animation that looks like you're actually eating the food. Now this is a client-sided mod, so it works in single player and multiplayer. And like I said before, it's available for both versions. The next mod we have to show off is called Blur. This mod is also available for Fabric and Forge as well. Blur adds a Gaussian Blur shader to the background of all GOIs. So when you're inside your crafting table or in the menus, uh, it fades in and out to give it a sleek look. It's highly configurable, so you can tune it the look of the mod to your liking. I personally really like this mod. It's just a little subtle blur effect whenever you're opening your menus. The third mod I have for show is called Effective. It is a client-sided mod that is available for Fabric and Forge and adds various visual and auditory effects for water and lava in Minecraft, including splashes for entities falling, um, waterfall effects, stuff like that. It's really, really a nice mod, and I think it, it just adds a nice little touch for the vanilla Minecraft experience. The fourth mod we have for show is called Illuminations. Now, this mod is a fabric-only mod, so sorry to you Forge users out there. You guys are going to be missing out on this one, but this mod is just a client-side mod that adds fireflies and other various glow-in-the-dark ambient particles to your world. Overall, it just adds a very nice uh, ambient feel to your a vanilla Minecraft experience. So for mod number five, we have Ambient Sounds 5. Now this mod is a client-sided mod available for Fabric and Forge. And basically what it does is it completely overhauls the ambient sounds in Minecraft. So you get more sounds, you get smoother sound loops, you get more variety in what sounds you get based on what region you're in, changing from time to time. And it's a completely reworked engine. So it really has a lot of options for what you can do with it. And I think this is the must-have mod for vanilla Minecraft. Here's a small teaser for what some of the biomes are going to sound like. Up next, we have Sound Physics Remastered. This mod is for 1.19.2 and below and is available for Fabric and Forge as well. And similar to Ambient Sounds 5, this is going to help improve the audio effects for Minecraft. So it, what it basically does is it improves and provides a realistic sound attenuation, reverberation, and absorption through blocks. Here's just a small clip of me mining in a cave and just to show you guys the difference of what it's going to sound like for you. All right, this next mod is a must have for everybody and luckily it's available for pretty much everybody because it's on 1.19.2 and below and it's available for Fabric and Forge. So this mod is called Controlling and what it basically does is it adds the ability to search for key bindings using their name in the key binding menu. It works for a lot of mods and allows players to easily fix key bindings in the menu based on conflicts, based on keys, you name it. It's really, really awesome. And like I said, it's compatible with mods. So if you have mods that add different key bindings, you can reconfigure those through here as well. Similarly to controlling, Better F3 is just another mod that you need to install whether you play modded Minecraft or not. Better F3 is a mod that replaces Minecraft's original terrible to read debug HUD with a highly customizable, more human readable HUD. You can customize the colors, positions, add spacings, and more. And so, yeah, it's very configurable. This mod is available for Fabric and Forge, and is pretty much available on every version of Minecraft 1.19.2 and below. So, yeah, you should have no problem downloading this mod. Continuing with the theme of Better This, Better That, this Minecraft mod, Better Statistics, simply replaces the vanilla statistics screen with a new and improved statistics screen that is easier to use and that has a lot more helpful features. Again, this is just another mod that you must have. Mod number 9, I'm seriously surprised, isn't a real feature in Minecraft yet. We have Cherished Worlds for mod number 9. This is a mod that basically just gives you the functionality to make a world one of your favorites. So you go to your world select list, 
You can choose the world that you want to make your favorite. You can choose as many worlds as you want to make favorite as you want. And then once you do make it a favorite, you cannot actually delete that world. It literally makes it impossible to delete until you take it off your favorites. So it's a really cool mod. I don't know how Minecraft hasn't added this or Mojang hasn't added this to Minecraft yet, but uh, it works on single player and for my and for servers. So if you have multiplayer worlds that you want to keep at the top of your list, you can do that as well. All right, mod number 10, we have Falling Leaves, another particle mod. Yes, it just adds more ambience. We love that stuff. So this is a 1.19 mod that's fabric only. Sorry to you Forge losers, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a ported version of this for Forge, I think that uh, you can find on Curse Forge, but it's not officially made by the same creator. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, this just adds more uh, falling leaves, particles that will fall from trees. And uh, you can configure this if you want to make them larger, smaller, if you want them to drop more frequently, that kind of thing, you can configure it. Okay, so the next mod we have to show is more mob variants. This is a mod that is actually only for fabric and is only for 1.19 versions. So I do apologize for you legacy players who like playing the older Minecrafts. But this mod, basically what it does, it just adds more mob variants. So it doesn't change the way mobs behave, doesn't change the drops or anything like that. It literally just adds more textures to different mods. So for cats, you have three new uh, different textures. For chickens, you have seven new textures. For cows, you have seven new textures. For pigs, you have five new textures. For sheep, you have three new textures. For wolves, you have five new textures. And for zombies, you also have eight new textures. So it just adds a lot of different variations to the mobs in the game, helps keep things fresh. And, you know, a lot of the new mobs in Minecraft have been getting different variations. So this kind of helps with that, I think, and helps keep the game, again, like I said before, more fresh and, you know, you got different variants of everything. If you really liked last mod, then you're gonna like this one too. This one's called more Axolotl variants mod, and it pretty much does the same thing as the last mod, except it's only for Axolotls. Um, this adds 10 new Axolotl variants. Some of them you can only acquire through breeding, but it is available for Fabric and Forge, and is available for 1.19.2 and below. This mod should really just go along with the last mod I just talked about, but Axolotl Bucket Fix is another really good one. So this one basically just changes the way the textures appear for axolotls when they are in a bucket. And it also is compatible with the more axolotl of uh, uh, more axolotls variants. So it will show you the basically the color of the axolotl you have in the bucket versus just showing the default pink one for every single axolotl you have in a bucket in your inventory. So this mod is only for fabric, which is unfortunate for you forge users out there. But um, it is also available for all the versions for 1.19 and below that include axolotls. So 1.17, 1.18, you got it. Okay, and for the last mod we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be called Not Enough Animations. This is a 1.19.2 and below mod that is available for Fabric and Forge. And basically it just adds more third person animations. So if you're eating an apple or drinking your drink, it's going to show you eating your apple and drinking your drink in Minecraft to other players. If you're rowing your boat, your player will be visually rowing their boat. If you are climbing a ladder, your player will be visually climbing a ladder. It just simply adds more animations for when you are in third person and really helps, I guess, with the immersion or if you're role playing in servers with other players. Now, this mod does a lot of different animations, so I'm not going to showcase all of them. But if you do, the mod link is in the description. And that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the video, which mod was your favorite down in the comments. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and I will be doing more of these videos in the future. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And my name is Boss Wave. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.